Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. If this is your first video that you are watching by me or if you've been watching for a while, please consider subscribing. I do book reviews on all things nonfiction as well as plenty of fiction books, specifically sci-fi, fantasy, manga, comics, cozy mysteries. So if any of that sounds interesting, please consider subscribing because I would love to make more videos for you. So today let's dive in to what I am reading. And that is Traffic by Ricky Du Cornet or Du Cornet. I am not entirely sure how to say her name, so it's right here. I do not know if it's Du Cornet or Du Cornet, but you can determine that by yourself. So this book I pulled off the shelf. It was pretty small and I was intrigued by the cover. I wanted to know what this was about, so I turned it over, read the back, decided it seemed interesting enough, and brought it home with me to read. So I read it in basically one sitting and now I want to review. So the general overview of this book is we are following two individuals, one named Quiver and one named Mike. So Quiver is human, human adjacent. She was grown in a carbon envelope in a lab somewhere and we are well in the future. She works as a miner. She gets sent to different asteroids and planets to do mining and in her free time she enjoys a AI alternate universe world, kind of like a video game is how I perceive it, and she uses this to escape from reality. She's doing all of this with her minder slash friend, which is a robot named Mike, which for some reason, the first part of this book I thought was short for microwave, even though I had no proof of that whatsoever. So it's not microwave, I forget what it was short for, but it, I was just calling them Mike in my head. So Mike and... Quiver are just going through life. She is escaping the monotony of her life through this alternate reality. And one day a job goes wrong and they have to determine what they are going to do. One of their options is going to this outlandish, fabulous kind of vacation world called Traffic, which they do wind up going to. The book is only 70, 80 pages long, so very, very short. So I don't wanna to dive too much into the story because I wanna leave this up to you. So let's just dive into my thoughts on the book. The first thought that I have on this book or when I read it was it is very fast paced. Even though it's sci-fi, I feel like when I read sci-fi, I usually am anticipating a lot of explanation about the world, the people, the culture, the customs, and we're not going to get that in a book this small just by necessity. The author has to cut a lot of stuff and it's very fast paced in the event that the author is still throwing out terms or descriptions, planets, places, people, things, historical events that have happened in the sci-fi world, but she's expecting you to keep up but she's not going to give you an explanation. So you have to very quickly let go of your desire to understand what's going on in the world. I think some people don't like this. I feel like when some people read books that might be classified as sci-fi, and again, I'm not entirely sure how the author would class this book herself, they want to know everything that's going on. They want to know how they can travel faster than light. They want to know what happened to Earth that made it no longer livable. They want to know about this alien species that we're visiting. And to not get answers for that can be very frustrating. I feel like if you're going to read this book, the one thing you need to do is let go of your desire to know what's going on all the time and just kind of go along for the ride. It's very fast paced, so you're going to be moving quickly. Things will only be mentioned once and you kind of have to keep pace. So I would recommend letting go of that when you go into this book and if you're someone who doesn't really enjoy that letting go aspect this book might be a stretch for you to read i would still recommend reading it but you might not enjoy it as much and i think that's just something that you should be aware of so when reading this book i definitely thought this was a book that maybe people who are a little smarter than me would get a lot more out of and i mean that to say there's a lot of things that come up regarding maybe ai love what is human? How far away from humanity can you take someone before they are no longer human? Isn't there a riddle with like a bridge, uh, not a bridge, a boat where like how many planks can you replace in a boat before it no longer is the same boat? Well, how much of humanity's core essence can you remove? Or what is humanity's core essence? How much of it can you remove before you no longer have a human? And that's kind of the the situation that Quiver finds herself in. She's very removed from what you and I view as human and how much of that can be removed while still calling her human, even though in my opinion, she is undoubtedly human. And that's just something that is a question that's brought up in the book. And I feel like being people smarter than me would be able to glean a lot more from what the author wanted to express in this book. Something 
that ties into that thought that I had is that this would be a very good book to read as part of a book club. I feel like if I had read this with a group of people that I was then going to discuss with, we could all together put our brains together and think of a lot more to come out of this book. We could address some of those questions. What does it mean to be human? In what ways is Quiver like us? In what ways is Quiver not like us? What determines the core essence of humanity? Those sort of things. And those sort of things could be discussed in a book club with other people and putting their thoughts with my thoughts would really focus my attention on this book, I think. Unfortunately, I did not read this as part of book club and my turn to pick a book for the book club that I am in is not for several more months. So unfortunately, probably not going to be able to read this with a book club. But if you haven't read this book, I highly recommend at the very least getting one other friend, recruit another friend into reading this book with you, read it and then discuss it together. I feel like you're gonna get a lot more out of it in that way and you're, able, you're going to be able to touch on some of these questions that the author brings up but doesn't really just address she is leaving it to the author or not the author sorry the reader to address so overall i would probably give traffic a three star i feel like the core content is really interesting i do kind of lean more towards not enjoying super fast paced sci-fi where we're being thrown a lot of technical terms and then not being explained to me i feel like one of the reasons i enjoy sci-fi is because or one of the reasons i enjoy sci-fi is the world building and the different experiences in the history. So when you take that out and have a fast paced book that focuses on something a little more philosophical, it lessens my enjoyment a little bit of the book, but I do think this would be a great book to discuss. I'm, it's definitely interesting. I kind of want to request someone else I know read this just to see what they think of it. If they brought the same, if they got the same takeaways from the book that I did, I just kind of want to hear that. So I would probably rate it three star. I do want to know if anyone else has read this, what you thought about it, what the book, what you took away from the book and what you would rate it. I'm just very curious about this book. I feel like it was a very odd kind of out there way to spend a Saturday morning, which is when I read it. And yeah, I'm curious as to what everyone else thought about it. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you've read this book. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.